and this module will talk about intermediate filaments and microtubules they are components of cytoskeleton first let us look at the intermediate filaments intermediate filaments stabilize cell shape they also maintain specific locations of some of the organelles inside the cell laminins which I mentioned in one of my previous modules which give nucleus its shape and also protect the DNA the genetic material they are also type of intermediate filament in fact there are 50 different types of intermediate filaments most of them perform one simple function that is resist tension they resist tension what is a tensile force first let me explain this if I pull on my tissue or my skin this is basically I am applying tensile force to my tissue intermediate filaments resist tension let me show you a diagram of how they do that there is a network of intermediate filaments in the three dimensional shape in the three dimensional space of the cell these intermediate filaments terminate at special points present on the plasma membrane these special points are called desmosomes or hemidesmosomes basically hemi or desmosome they have one single function is to connect cells to adjacent cell or extracellular matrix we will just concentrate on desmosomes which connect two cells together desmosomes are like touch buttons which we have on our clothes so two desmosomes when they come together they have sticky molecules which will grab each other and they'll stuck together now imagine these are the two desmosomes and connected to them are these all these filaments that are coming out of the, these desmosomes and running throughout the cell so two cells are connected together with these desmosomes there's not one there's not two there are several hundreds hundreds of these thousands of these desmosomes which are holding cells together and these intermediate filaments are holding these cells together by the help of these desmosomes now let's look at the other type of cytoskeletal element the microtubules microtubules are rigid structures we saw in the animation they are hollow they are like hollow pipes and they resist compression forces what is compression force this is if i press on my skin this is a compression force these microtubules also serve as tracks along which motor proteins can move we'll talk about that later microtubules are subunits of alpha and beta tubulin there are two molecules alpha and beta tubulin they come together and they form one monomer so one tubulin monomer is made up of alpha and beta tubulin subunits the microtubules are linear structures these microtubules the two ends of the microtubules are different one end of the microtubule is called the plus end and the other end is called the minus end the plus end is the, is the site where new tubulin subunits can add on and the my, uh, net result is elongation of microtubule subunits also come off from the plus end much quicker than the other end the minus end and the minus end is generally uh, generally embedded in the centrosome as we saw in the animation another hallmark feature of microtubules in the cell is that the that the the, the the on the circumference of a microtubule is made up of 13 tubulin molecules as i mentioned the two ends of the microtubules are different this difference is manifested along the length of microtubule what do I mean that by that imagine if you close your eyes and run your hand on the tail of a cat your eyes are closed but you can still tell which direction in which direction the cat is so whether the cat is on right or left just by running your hand on the tail of the cat so it is the surface of these structural elements that is that has differences that can be recognized that can be read by other molecules for example the motor protein molecules motor proteins know which end of a microtubule is the plus end and which end of a microtubule is the minus end the, as I mentioned the minus end of a microtubule is embedded in the centrosome centrosome has 
amorphous mass around it. In that amorphous mass, there is a, another type of tubulin molecule called the gamma tubulin. That is responsible for basically, that is like a seed out of which microtubules grow. This is how basically you can maintain orientation of the cell. You have a centrosome in the middle out of which microtubules, hundreds of thousands of microtubules are emanating. Each microtubule with plus end towards the plasma membrane and the minus end is embedded towards the cell center. Next, we will talk about proteins that can recognize the polarity of microtubules. They can read which one is the plus end and which one is the minus end and transport cargo.